there are no cracks so far, but these guys still have to dry. Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Alicia with Sea Star Soap Company. And on today's video, we are gonna be making bath bombs, but not just any bath bombs. Bath bombs with Epsom salt. Yeah, that's right. I know personally I've stayed away from Epsom salt because I live in Alabama very high humidity so I don't know what I'm thinking so the humidity here 99% yeah pretty crazy for wanting to try to make bath bombs at that percentage but I truly believe you can make any bath bomb recipe in any humidity it's all about your technique and how you incorporate your ingredients etc etc so let's get to it and see how this goes First thing I'm gonna do is measure out my baking soda. Then I had somebody ask me how many grams of water I use. I normally do a shot. I've never measured it out. And the purpose of the shot of water, especially if you're using dyes and you put it in your baking soda, is to bloom the color. Now, I'm not using a dye. But being in Alabama, I find that the more water I use, it, it just works for me. So I'm gonna add it in there. And it's a better binder when I add in my uh, dried ingredients. I need this mixing while I'm measuring out my dry ingredients. Everything was clean when I started, okay guys, that's all that matters. And then I'm just gonna pour in my dry ingredients in here. Now I have it on a low two speed, so I'm gonna let this mix for, I would say about 10, 12 minutes. When that's over there doing its thing, I do the wet ingredients. Hey, I don't know why, but I start off with poly 80. I do my castor oil. So you can do any lightweight oil you want. I stopped doing grapeseed oil. Switch to almond oil. And with my fragrance oil, you don't want to put more than 70 grams of fragrance oil in your batch. Nurture Soap has a fragrance oil calculator you can use. So I start off with 30 grams and this is out of I go off of how strong it's gonna be if I can barely smell it I will use more if not I will use less and this is a rose scent so I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty strong I do add alcohol to this I just like to add it last so I measure it out separately and then we're going to add in our alcohol. Stir. Since I'm experimenting, I wasn't going to, but I'm going to add shea butter and coconut oil. Then I'm just going to pop this guy in the microwave for about five seconds. And then, yeah, I'm just going to add this to the wet ingredient mix. And then now I'm going to mix it. Right, and this has to be on when I'm mixing it in. So I'm scraping it down the sides. Try to rotate it. It's been mixing for a little bit. kid y'all not this is gonna be mixing for about 15 to 20 minutes no lie it's been about 20 minutes I'm gonna go in here and mix whatever is on at the bottom and then while I set up my press I'm gonna let this mix for another five minutes 
I want it to be, I'm gonna add in my citric acid. And then I'm gonna add in my Epsom salt to my citric acid. What I'm gonna do is scrape whatever is clinging on for your life over here. Mix it in. I'm gonna put this at the second high speed. I know some people mix it in slowly. For me being in the South, it just works better if I can re-wet my ingredients. I don't know why it just works for me. see where it's at. It's been mixing for a minute. I'm try not to make a mess. <laughs> okay, get a little bit. I'm going to squeeze it together. And it is holding exactly how I want it to hold. See, if you can't do that with your bath bombs, something's wrong. Fast as I can. I'm not the best molder. But I have some Epsom salt that I colored with mica earlier. I'm gonna just use that as a decoration. Put that in there. Kinda toss that. If you guys are new here and wondering, this is the Electra Press. It's from Muddy Soap Co. Their link is down at the bottom. So I normally hold it for like 10 seconds or so. Pop this guy out. There's like nowhere in this frame to work. I hope it's in picture y'all. done pressing and as you can see there are no cracks so far but these guys still have to dry. I pop them in my oven overnight so whenever I wake up and start filming again tomorrow I will let you guys know. So it is now the next day and we're gonna check on these guys. I'm super nervous. Oh okay. As you can see I don't have any issues with them pre-activating this is this is rock hard okay so it's been about a week and as you can see these guys are still rock hard i haven't even wrapped them they've just been sitting out in my bathroom for decoration and honestly it takes a week or two for my bath bombs to completely dry normally so I'm definitely not going to be selling these because they have Epsom salt in it. This is just for my personal use. And I will be taking stuff from here. I don't know if it's because I doubled up on my cow and clay or just the fact that it has salt in it that I'm gonna incorporate that into my new bath bombs. Definitely just don't hesitate. Just go for it guys. Cause obviously it worked out for me. And this could be my solution to shipping my bath bombs naked. Good luck on your bath bombs, guys. And don't forget, mix, mix, mix.